Hello, hello everybody! Got a different kind of video for you today. Something that I hope will help some of you out. Uh, it's a common problem that us as writers have in the colder writing season, when we're either at a stop or simply not going fast enough, we get a bunch of fog on our visors. Or, if you're like me, on our glasses as well. Um, on this visor, it does not have a pin lock system, so this really applies to those of you who do not have a pin lock system. On my main helmet, I do have a pin lock system, but I started looking into this because my glasses were fogging up. And so I bought two different types of products. I have Fog Stopper as well as Fog Gone. Now, I'm going to talk through each of these products, how to apply them, and how they can help deal with fogging on your glasses as well as your visor. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, I bought both of these products myself, and I'm a fan of one of these and not so much the other, and I'll talk a little bit about why. So first we have Fog Gone, which is the first product I tried. It, you can get it for about $11, it's 2 ounces or 60 milliliters, and this is a spray bottle. The second product I have is Fog Stopper, and this is more expensive at $19, and you only get 10 milliliters, um, and it is a dropper style bottle. So now we're going to start to talk about how to apply each of these products. Now for this, you're obviously going to need the spray or the dropper, as well as a microfiber cloth. So first, let's go ahead and apply Fog Gone on the right hand side, just so we can do a quick comparison. So simply just spray on the product, a couple different sprays, take your clean microfiber cloth, and in very gentle motions, just do a circular motion just to evenly spread and apply the product. Now you will see some streaking and what looks kind of like an oil slick on the visor and that's the layer of product that has been applied. You can still kind of see it a little bit on here as well. This can be buffed out after it dries and as I breathe on it, you will see it from a distance, but once the visor is actually installed into the helmet and it's up close into your face, you don't really notice it at all. So don't necessarily let that be a detraction in terms of how you are going to see when, if, when and if you use this product on your visor. So you're going to see that oil slick on there, but once again, once the visor is up close to your eyes, it doesn't become an issue. You might see it from a distance, but when it's that close and you're focusing farther away, it's not an issue. So don't let that be something that we're, that you worry about. So you can see this dries and you can still see a little bit of residue there. And so all you can really do is again, just quickly buff it out. Just in circular motions. And I'm not really applying any pressure. It's very gentle pressure. I'm really, really just letting the cloth do all the work and let's test it out. So you can see that oil slick thing I was talking about. You can see it there and you can see on the center. Uh, let, me, let me breathe on it again. You can clearly see where there is uh, some fog and it makes it hard to see right here in the center and you see where the product was applied. Uh, once again, as the visor is close to your face, as it's close to your eyes, I don't notice the oil slick at all, but I do notice the fog when I breathe onto it, when I put the visor up close to my head. So don't necessarily let that be something that you worry about. You're not replacing one issue with another. So that's pretty much how to apply the fog gone. Pretty straightforward, very simple. And now let's go ahead and do the fog stopper. So this one's a bit different. This one's simply just a dropper style. So just put a couple drops on there and use a different part of the microfiber cloth. And same thing, just spread the product all around. And naturally, you would spread this across your entire visor if you do decide to do this. I'm only doing this so we can compare for once one part. And this product says to let it dry and you can blow on it, but since I put a small amount over a wider area, it seemed to have dried pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and try this one out. So once again, you can still see there's that oil, kind of oil slick pattern. And you can see there's uh, definitely some fog in the center. And once again, once the visor is close to your face, you don't really notice this at all, but you do notice the fogging that's in the center. So you're not replacing one issue for another. Uh, it's just some, you're, you're only seeing the film that has been applied to the visor itself. So let's try that again. So you can see in the center, very fogged up, but you still see the oil 
kind of like the oil slick kind of pattern, but you don't really notice it as you're writing. Um, all you really see is possibly, depending on the amount of product you applied, a little bit of distortion, but it's certainly not as distracting as having your entire visor fogging up. Um, so I would say overall, both of these products work very, very well for your visor. Now, if you're like me and you wear glasses, um, one of these products is gonna work better than the other. So as I mentioned, I first got Fog Gone and this does not work at all with my glasses. Um, it actually, I might be able to say that it actually made the, the, the anti-fogging properties worse on my glasses. It seems like it took a lot longer for the glasses to naturally defog themselves. So I would not recommend Fog Gone for prescription glasses, at least for if you have the same type of glasses that I have. Um, I don't know if it's a matter of the coating, the, the lens itself, what what's something about these glasses that don't work, but this does not work with my glasses at all. Um, however, fog stopper does work very well for my glasses. So if you're like me and you have to wear prescription glasses and you need something to help with your visor, I would recommend fog stopper. But if you don't have to worry about glasses and you're only applying this for the visor, I would recommend Fog Gone because it's cheaper, it's a little bit easier to apply, and you get more product for that. So considerations that you need to make, um, again, it's a film. You can certainly wash off the film, rub it off if you uh, clean your lens too, um, with a little too much force, but at that point, just reapply the product and you'll be good to go. So that's gonna about wrap it up for today. I hope this helped at least some of you out there dealing with colder weather and having to deal with uh, obscured vision like I did. Um, so this has been very helpful for me and I haven't had any significant issues since trying this out. So hopefully that helped out some of you out there. So as always, be brave, do good, take care of yourselves. See y'all in the next one. Take care, everybody.